Okay, so most streams are bad. It's the sad truth of the matter. If you go to any streaming platform right now and click on streams at random, the majority of them will either have bad production value, won't engage with chat, or just plain won't be entertaining enough to hold your attention. Now these quote unquote bad streamers are probably working on it and one day they may be good if not great streamers. I'm not saying this to discourage or belittle anyone. I think we all know our own streaming shortfalls and we are all working on them. So why am I telling you that most streamers are bad? Because Trovo is allowing bad streams to thrive. Normally on a platform, in the sea of bad streams, algorithms allow the good ones to rise to the top. I hear people say that Twitch has no algorithm a lot which is just plain wrong. It has an algorithm, just a very simple one. Those who garner more views appear higher in game categories or on the homepage. This means that streamers with proven ability to please an audience are shown more. YouTube's algorithm means that your stream gets recommended to people it thinks will like it, meaning people have to already like your stream for it to get pushed to more people, meaning you're doing something right. In both cases, the best of the best rise to the top. Not in Trovo's case though. If you go into any category on Trovo right now, the people at the top are going to be treasure box people. The people featured on the homepage most prominently are probably going to be treasure box people. These are people who have paid to do a giveaway so they get exponentially more views than anyone else. And since the majority of streams are bad, this means that there is a high possibility that Trovo's algorithm is pushing more bad content than good content onto its viewers. Now I should say there are some great streamers who use treasure boxes but these are usually an exception, not the rule. And all of this is fine for people like me and probably like you, because we like streaming and we like streamers and we like supporting small streamers. We don't mind digging through the categories, looking for people we can relate to and hang out with. So who cares who is at the top of the list, right? Well, everyone else cares. Trovo is leaving beta very soon. And when it does, I'm hoping they will be upping advertising to normies. And normies don't go diving through categories looking for streamers. No. Normies click on the first thing they see and make judgments. And so they should. They come to a streaming platform to watch content they are going to like and they shouldn't have to dig around for it on Trovo because they don't have to dig around for it on Twitch or YouTube. Trovo has a streamer first mentality and it's the reason many of us stream there. The treasure boxes are there to help streamers get discovered, the Trovo 500 is there to support streamers and their management team have shown me they truly care about their streamers. But I personally think this inward approach of making Turbo the best site for streamers needs to shift. And I think now, as we come out of beta, we need to shift to making Turbo the best site for viewers. Which means we need to get the streamers with the best production quality, the most engaging streamers, and the most entertaining streamers on the front page and to the top of all the categories. And I should also say here, I know that you can view Turbo categories by the recommended option, not just the viewers high to low option, but normies won't do that. New viewers coming onto Trovo for the first time in the coming months will be judging the book by the cover. They will be judging Trovo by its treasure box streamers. So how does Trovo fix this issue? Well, they need to nerf treasure boxes more, I think. As in maybe only allowing one discoverability box a week, or maybe making it more obvious that when a user clicks on a treasure box stream that the views are being temporarily artificially inflated. All I know is that the treasure box system is my biggest pet peeve with Trovo right now. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me and how you would fix it. Trovo is also making a push over on their YouTube channel to educate its streamers on how to stream good with their Trovo Academy series. I've actually made two videos over there for them, so you should go check them out. And I don't want this just to be a really negative video on Trovo, there is a lot I'm still loving about it and a lot of stuff on the roadmap I'm excited about. But now we are coming out of beta, it's time to really think about how the site comes across to non- <laughs> My voice. How the site comes across to non-streamers. And we really need to start optimising the whole experience more for them. This has been my Neon Talk, thanks for watching.